Bobby Saletto insists he's never been one to make waves. Even so, 50 years ago, he was front and center for the start of the modern-day LGBT rights movement. It was really quite open. There were quite a few gay bars. There were a lot of gay bars in New York City. June 28, 1969. Saletto was 23 years old, lived in New York City, had just started his job as a go-go dancer at a gay club called the Stonewall Inn. He recalls police often raided New York gay clubs. He'd experienced it firsthand. The cops just pulled you out and put you into a paddy wagon. And you spent the night in jail. The Stonewall had just installed a giant cage on its bar. It was like a big bird cage. That night, it was Saletto's turn to dance in it. He wasn't surprised when police suddenly stormed the stone wall, but says what happened next stunned him and police. That's when the drag queen said, no more. <laughs> so they basically went back. Um, they picked up chairs, threw them at the cops, they picked up bottles, they picked up glasses, anything they could get their hands on to throw. He remembers watching from inside that cage as police and the bar's patrons dealt blows, bruises, even cuts to each other. Remembers cutting himself as he climbed out of that cage and again as he walked across the floor carpeted with shattered glass. As he headed for the door, he figured police had once again proved they had the power until he stepped outside to see that raid had sparked a riot. Yes, for the first time in documented history, gay people stood up for equality and straight people stood with them, fell beside them. People that you knew and friends that you knew from the bar laying in the street bleeding Fifty years later, Saletto still wrestles with what he saw that night, but you can bet he's proud of the gains LGBT people have made in their quest for equality and the part he played in it. The younger generation has to be educated about what us older gays had to go through so that they could now get married, they can walk down the street holding hands. Not a bad legacy for a man who insists He's not one to make waves.